Guys, yeah, CJ back here with a very short video. Um, I just got done streaming some Black Ops 4 over on Twitch. I'm thinking of streaming GTA and MK11 over there as well soon. Um, maybe maybe GTA back over here. I'm not sure yet. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitch. Uh, anyway, same same as same name over here. Same name as over here. God damn it. Um, so what I want to do is I want to quickly cover like how to customize your armory, your uh, creative class, not creative class, your um your weapons like attachments uh, setups and stuff so now just for the purposes of the video because I've already explained some of this menu already I am on the ready up button or yeah that one and so I'm gonna go to the left with the directional pad and you can hear the difference between this menu and the creative class menu so this one's the armory menu sound So this is create a class. Back to armory. Okay, so how this works is you use your bu bumpers, triggers, whichever, to go between weapon categories. So it always starts off on assault rifles as the leftmost option. One to the right with the one of the bumpers, triggers, whatever it is submachine guns, then tactical rifles, light machine guns, sniper rifles, and then finally secondaries. And secondaries are everything from rocket launchers to shotguns, pistols, all that type of stuff. So in the assault rifles, back over, we start with the ICR 7, I think it is in this game, then the Maddox KN 57, Hitchcock, Rampart, uh, what is this? Oh, Vapor, uh, the Galil, or Grav in this game, I suppose. Then the SWAT, which I have the SWAT, luckily, yeah, SWAT. So SMGs, you start with the S-Cargo, then the MX-9, Spitfire, uh, SOG, 9mm, GKS, Cordite, I think is the way it goes here, let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's, yeah, so it's, okay, yeah, so S-Cargo, MX-9, Spitfire, SOG, GKS, Cordite, uh, MP-40, and something else, I suppose, Switchblade, Demon, something, and then Tactical Rifles, you start with the Swordfish, the SX Model 7, the ABR-223, the Augur, DMR, and then finally the, if you have it, which I do, you have the s Titans uh, the Hades, the VKM, the uh, I don't remember the nam names of guns. The oh, it's like the Zweihander or something. Zweihander. It's like some German like huge LMG. Then next in the sniper rifles, you start with the SDM, the semi-auto sniper. Then you have the Paladin, the big 50 cal. Then you got the Koshka, which is another bolt action. Then the Outlaw, which is another bolt action. Then secondaries, you start with bow knife, the welling revolver, piece of crap then you have I think the oh the mozu which is a pretty good revolver I like it then you have the M19 not is it 27? 1897? twenty something like that trebuchet basically the trench gun it's shotgun then you have the strife then the RK7 then after they have the S SG-12, then the Hellion rocket launcher, then the MOG-12, and then finally the Rampage shotgun, which I have the Rampage, so. Um, hopefully this made a bit more sense. Um, how, as far as like customizing, so you, you so, so let's say, let's say you just found the armor, right? You, you don't know the menus. You land on the assault rifles, the first gun you have is the ICR-7. You hit X or A on Xbox. Honestly, real quick, would you guys prefer me to use fighting game terminology, like 1, 2, 3, 4, to, you, to because it'd be easier than saying X or A, X or A, whatever. Uh, so you hit X or select it. Now here's this sound. Hear that sound twice. Like you're going to the army menu, then going into a gun customization. Now, every gun, like if you, I'm just slowly attach stuff and you'll hear the differences.
was attached an optic and five other attachments. Took them all off. Now each optic. So all the optical attachments all sound the same. And all the other attachments have a unique sound tone. So it's you can you can clearly tell what you're equipping on your weapon. Um, it's just it takes a lot of practice to know what you're using. For example, like extend the all the so extended mags on every gun that's available sounds the same on every gun. So you put extended mags on, it may plays the same sound clip every time you attach it on a different gun. So like say you have extended mags, extended mags on the Titan, you put that on. Okay, cool, got extended mags there. But then you go over to I don't know, let's say the Cordite. You put you find okay, this sounds like. Xenomax, then it's Xenomax. Like they, they have the same sounds across the gun, so you can tell what guns have what attachments. Now the problem is is just figuring out what gun what attachments are what. For me, I really don't mind what attachments I use so long as you know they're attachments. Uh, typically what I can do is you know just have chat read it, honestly. Chat will say, Hey, you put this on, this on, this on. I'm like, okay, cool. Um, if not that then, you know, just slowly and methodically just let catch up let chat catch up and then we'll put on the attachments. Now the other thing that happened, um, what other thing? What am I talking about? Let me think. Uh, as far as elixirs, uh, really quick, because I didn't cover them last time I did a video like this. The short version of how elixirs work is so. Let's so let's go and create a class, right? So you're you're starting from special weapons. So you hold left on the D-pad all the way. You hit A or X. Then you hold left on the D-pad again. This is your left directional pad elixir. One up is your up directional pad elixir. Then you can recenter yourself by going back left again. And left, holding left in the elixir menu always puts you back to leftmost leftmost uh, elixir slot. Then one f to the right from the leftmost is your right D-pad. Then one down is your down D-pad. Um, I'm gonna put on just random elixirs. There you go. Now, that is basically it. all I wanted to show with this one. Just a little more clarification on the menu structure for Black Ops 4. Oh, that reminds me. Um, when you go into Armory and you hear that sound, um, you hear Armory sound, you hit Triangular Wide, that's your like, customization, like your camouflages, your all that type of stuff. So like certain camos and, and different variants and stuff, that's all like under Triangular Wide or 2, depending on how you want a terminology. Um, now the the way leveling works for those of you who can't see the screen of course it basically is this you have your main level and you level up level up level up say you're level 55 you have all the guns and the armor unlocked now if you if you're like say you're going through the armory here you're on the rampart and you can't you cannot it just won't do anything right you cannot select it you can't do anything with it, it means you can't you haven't unlocked it you're not you're not high enough level to unlock it and start ranking it up you can't rank any guns up challenges you can't get any headshot challenges, you can't get any XP with the gun, or you can't level the gun up and get attachments or camos or anything until you unlock it in the armory. For me, it's not a big deal because I'm Master Prestige, so everything's unlocked already. But for, I know some people were like, what's going on? I can't I can't put the knife on the strife, or I can't do this or that. So there's there's all that. Hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and share it with other blind people who might be interested. And yeah, let me know what you guys want to see next stream. I'm thinking GTA tonight, maybe Mortal Kombat 11 or Diablo. I can't decide. I haven't played Diablo on this channel for very long, for a while, so I was hoping to bring it back to be honest, because Diablo's Diablo's pretty fun. It might be a little boring to some people, but I I personally like Diablo. It's a lot of fun. Um, I was actually thinking of playing on like the harder difficulties for Diablo, because it seems like it's way too easy right now for me personally. So yeah, if you guys want to see a harder Diablo playthrough, let me know. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, and that's about it. Bye.